Russia, go home now. Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by the divine grace. Part two of four. Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Veuillez visitar suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Bangumi wa tagengo hosou desu. Hosou yotei wa suprememastertv.com slash schedule. Okay, so if the first cultivate yourself means make yourself wise by what? Meditation, discipline. And you can only do that when you're clear and your body is well. If you're not well, how do you think well? And alcohol makes you worse. Alcohol doesn't make you well. Alcohol and cigarettes make you sick. Everybody knows that. Or why are you going to damage yourself when you want to lead the nation? So you have to be disciplined, of course, eh? and meditate to calm yourself down to find the wisdom that is inside you. So cultivate yourself. That's it. Please keep watching to find out more. The vaccine side effect can be reversed if you pray and stop worrying and killing the innocents. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. On the world's largest island, Greenland, the natives might greet you with Ayumi, which means how are you in Greenlandic. My name is Yorina. The friendly people of Greenland wish you many happy moments surrounded by nature's tranquility and beauty. As the world's largest island, Greenland lies so far north that the majority of its land is within the Arctic Circle. Greenland's 56,000 inhabitants live in many small settlements and towns. In this land of snow and ice, there are no roads between towns. Travel around the island is primarily by snowmobile, boat or small plane. Greenland is famous for its magnificent glaciers, fjords and mountains. The Northeast Greenland National Park is also renowned for its vastness and natural beauty. This protected region provides a safe haven for people of the Mammal Kingdom, such as polar bears, ermines, Greenland wolves, snowy owls and arctic hares, as well as coastal marine life. The island's main inhabitants are indigenous Inuit, an ethnic group that arrived in Greenland from northern Canada more than 1,000 years ago. Greenland Inuit traditions include ancient tales, many of which reflect a respect for nature and the belief that all beings have souls. Greenland is a true winter wonderland. 
The annual snow festival is held in the capital Nuuk, complete with outdoor sculptures designed by local artists. The Northern Lights are also a wondrous part of Greenlander's winter. The lights reach down from space, filling the night with dreamy colors of the divine. We were pleased to introduce Majestic Greenland to you, generous viewers. May we always be supported by heaven in keeping our faith in God strong. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one. Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the worshipped son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals and many awards such as the 2006 Guzi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life. A tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful gatherings entitled Awakening to Spiritual Awareness, Part 13 of 14, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on January 8, 2006, in Surrey, the United Kingdom. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. So it's not like the Muslim religion is bad, telling people to have many wives or to kill others so they can go to heaven. It's not that. It's a purely big time misunderstanding. Big, big, big time. You see now? Yeah. You see what it's like when you don't have a living master to explain things to you. But at least in their society, they don't drink, they don't smoke, and they pray five times a day. And the way they pray is just similar to the Guaning method. You know that if you watch it. <laughs> and then they became so strong, you know, just like you guys know. You're very strong, you know, in faith, and you do it. You know, nobody can change your faith now. But if after I die, many generations later, your children just watch you just do that and don't have any other essential, real, spiritual power then it becomes just a strongly knitted society. And no alcohol, no smoking, no drinking, praying five times a day, whatever that is, and call yourself Chinhaist. <laughs> I mean, they call themselves Chinhaist, for example. Yeah? And it will be less strong, because you brought up your children from now very strong in faith. Understand me? And that your children will bring up other children very strong. But then after the Master dies and the spiritual lineage is cut off, then it will remain just a good tradition. Well, luckily, we don't have to kill to survive. So that will be out of our whatever leftover doctrine later. Yeah? That's definitely a no. 
Okay, you understand me? Because we live in a more liberal society, somehow more protected. And still, it's a different harassment. Of course, I have to run around many times. I don't know how many houses I've been living in. I don't know from how many places I've been running since the last few years. Even in a cave, <laughs> not safe. So it's just a different kind of thing. Yeah, different, but less. Yeah, less. Just psychological pressure. Yeah. I'm happy already that I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're happy too. At least I can run. <laughs> really, you're not old enough, strong enough, so I can go. Huh? Somebody say I can be free and go now. <laughs> no, you don't want that. You don't want me to just drop out of this planet. Not yet. No. Not strong enough. No. 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 Oh, you still have your children to be initiated and <laughs> all the children. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I can come or I can go. It doesn't matter. But since I'm here, I stay for a while. Huh? What's the hurry? You know, can go anytime. <laughs> yeah, when the body stops functioning well, then maybe you got to go. Yeah, what else we we talk about? <laughs> huh? What else is there? I feel I'm getting old so quick these days. <laughs> Yeah, too much pressure this in the last few years because the planet evolved so quickly, you know. So much karma to take care of. Not outside, you don't see much, you know. Of course, it affects outside a little bit more wrinkles than before. <laughs> <laughs> but inside, it's more, yeah. It doesn't matter, it's okay. It's my God. My God. Not easy to escape from the internal pressure. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, why do we talk about this? Huh? Change the world. Change the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, if the people in the world are wiser, yeah, and more sensible, they should pick. The world leader with more spiritual uh, awareness, yeah, and more clarity of mind, yeah, and you can only do that by disciplining yourself, like an old ancient wisdom that says you have to first cultivate yourself. That means you really have to discipline yourself and meditate and have wisdom and all that, yeah. Without wisdom, how do you rule the world? How do you help anybody? can't even help yourself. You don't even know where you're going when you die. You don't even know what to do in some situations. Then how do you lead anybody or help anyone? Understand me? <laughs> Let alone the whole nation. Okay, so if to first cultivate yourself means make yourself wise. By what? Meditation, discipline, right? And you can only do that when you're clear. And your body is well. If you're not well, how do you think well? And alcohol makes you worse. Alcohol doesn't make you well. Alcohol and cigarettes make you sick. Everybody knows that. Why are you going to damage yourself when you want to lead the nation? Understand me? So you have to be disciplined, of course, eh? and meditate to calm yourself down, to find the wisdom that is inside you. So cultivate yourself. That's it. And then, and then you can take care of your family. Of course, your children need you. A little kid like that, look at you drinking, smoking all day. How are you going to take care of your family and tell them what to do huh? when you don't do it? And then even fool around or something. Bad example for kids, you know? Okay, so first, <laughs> discipline yourself huh? with wisdom and virtue. And then you can take care of the family. That's natural, no? Don't you think so? So the old ancient wisdom doesn't even forbid you to have a family, yeah? But cultivate yourself, and then you can take care of the family. Further on, then you can lead the nation. They don't even say lead the nation, they say pacify the world. See? How big that can be, you know? They don't even limit it to a nation, pacify the world. That is the great power of a cultivated person, you know, spiritually a wise person.
See, so if the world is really wise and woken up, they would have chosen their leader more carefully. But the problem is <laughs> there are not too many leaders to choose from. So they choose whatever it looks like in the movies, you know. <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> Talk big, you know. Act like has no fear. If act, you know, a little aggressive would be better. <laughs> Action, you know. <laughs> That's a problem. But a spiritual person, if he steps out and wants to lead the world or help the world, then they will label him, oh, an ambitious guy. He's not a real spiritual person. You know, he's a fake. And then he immediately drowns. Or even worse, he goes in prison, you know, with a bad label and uh, lack of name and anything, you know. If the government is powerful enough, they can frame you, Yeah. All your good intentions go to nothing. I've seen some examples. I want to mention who and where. But I can see many innocent people, you know. Once you want to step in the political arena, oh, God. Before you even open your mouth, say, I want, you know, already shut up. This is so difficult, yeah? Understand? Because they want to keep the power, you know. The people who are not... Really, that great want to keep the great power and don't let other people have a chance because our world is still not yet clean enough and not wise enough, okay? And the spiritual people, although very pure and strong and innocent, still have to work under pressure in this world. I know that, <laughs> my own example. You understand? They will pick any little thing and label you, you know, make you look like a criminal. Oh, yeah, they could really make you look like a criminal. Who is there to talk? Uh, some innocent people get framed and have all kinds of sentences. The justice system is not always working well. It depends on whom you're dealing with, which police are you with or which church are you with. Yeah, You know it yourself. The newspapers is often Broadcast, oh, which man is innocent? After 25 years, after 60 years, he comes out, oh, thank you very much <laughs> for free me. <laughs> Time to clear my name. <laughs> Can I have him, please, now? <laughs> yeah? It's, it's not impossible, yeah? Because of the system. It's not like a lot, but it happens. It's happened so many times in different countries. But some innocent people get a clear name. Some people are declared innocent in the grave. And they already know after. Sometimes they know after, they don't even clear his name. Sometimes they already know he's innocent. He still continues to stay in prison until later, many long years after. I don't know why. Nobody knows why. And it just happens. Understand that? Yeah. So, I don't know. The only protection is God power. Yeah? Only if you can protect yourself <laughs> in this world to keep it, you know. Because since time immemorial, you know already, Jesus, Buddha, you know, even Buddha had assassination attempt, you know, for a couple of times that they know of. Other times maybe they don't even know. You know what I mean? Uh, so Jesus, yeah? Crucified. Many other masters will flay alive or killed, yeah? Or harassed, you know, cornered, persecuted. All kinds of things happened. And all they did was just good things to the world, you see? That's it. That's the only crime they did. And then all kinds of negative things will heap on them, frame, corner, want to kill them, anything. Jesus, b before he became famous, he's already been, you know, how you say, chased after to be killed. Just because somebody prophesied that a small child is going to rule your kingdom. <laughs> he didn't mean <laughs> physically. He didn't mean he would become a king or anything, but they were afraid. The people who were in power, they were afraid to let go. So they went and searched for other children and killed, you know, searched for Jesus and wanted to kill him, even when he was still a baby. 
Can you imagine how dangerous it was? Hmm? Nowadays, it's a little better, eh? It's better, but we still feel pressure, yeah? A lot of pressure yeah? everywhere. Maybe even not for you, but for me, yeah? And the uh, extremists, you know, don't help either, you know. <laughs> but thank God, you know, it's getting clearer, clearer and better, and you can sit here and meditate all day, weekend, and until now, you know. In other countries, in some less free countries, we can't do this. We can't sit here so many people, so late like this, and talk, yeah? There would be already police all over, and you'd be gone or running for your life a long time already, yeah? So you see, nowadays, even in this century, there's more freedom, but not in all the world, you see? So we have still a lot of work to do. Hmm? For example, in some countries, we could not even put our contact person's names out. In some communist countries, we have many of them, we just can't put it out. You understand me? Can't print it out. And even then, in some part of that country, they still go around searching for us and put people in jail and all that, sometimes for some days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, sometimes years even, for doing nothing wrong. And sometimes bring them to jail and force them to eat animal people, meat and all that. You don't know what's good would that do with the government. <laughs> huh? It's nothing to do with the government, right? Well, why is that that they have to force them to eat animal people, meat? So if you eat meat, I'll let you out. So some of the disciples just sit there, don't eat. And then in a few weeks, uh, the government set up or let them out. <laughs> it happened, you know? It still happens. But doing nothing wrong to the society, you know? I don't understand it. Even any least intelligent country least intelligent government would know that we are harmless, right? Yes. Our, our precept is not to harm anybody <laughs> to begin with. So how, how, how can we do anything wrong anywhere? And we eat vegan, how wrong can that be? Huh? And we don't harm anybody, we don't steal, uh, we don't tell lies. How bad can it be to any society or for any government? Just tell me. Huh? The least intelligent government would understand that we're harmless. You know what I mean? So what's the, the point here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, huh? Have you ever been up a place Far away from it all Where the air you breathe is soft and clean Children play with the wind Where the sounds of guns Never power your dreams Russia, go home now! If you don't eat meat, when you die, you won't have to become a pig or a cow, or a sheep, and you won't have to fall into the hells. The Venerable Master, Swan Hua, Vegetarian. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. I still think the root of the problem is drinking, smoking, drugs. Yeah, from there everything is bad. Because once you lose your mind, you can do anything. You know the story of the Buddha, in the Buddha's time. Somebody says, okay, you keep all the precepts, you know? Don't kill, don't steal, don't commit adultery, don't tell lies, and don't drink. And the man said, I can keep all the four, but don't drink and I can't. <laughs> and then he drinks and he kills and tells a lie. All kinds of things happen because he drinks and is drunk. Devoted viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Awakening to Spiritual Awareness, Part 13 of 14, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is, from the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ, Be Merciful to Animal People, Part 2 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after No to Affinis. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. 
May your life be blessed and your soul awakened in God's love. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.